You are now listening to Mike's Opinion, Logic Unleashed. That's right, you are now listening and watching the Mike's Opinion Podcast, Summer Vibes, baby. Summer Vibes. Where you at? Are you here? Let's go. Yeah, Independence Day 2024, 4th of July. Do you know what it's about? You're going to learn here today. That's right. Yo, it was going down. It was going down. Like 250, 300 years ago. I don't know. 17, 76, 20, 24, minus 17, 76. Yeah, you do the math. Do the math, do the math, do the math. Because, hey, hey, yo, we got tired of letting British shoulders in our house. We got tired of getting taxed for tea and shit and was like, yo, we ain't doing it no more. The British don't own us. We, we, we us. We us. They not like us. They not like us. We America. <laughs> That's what happened, yo. Happy 4th of July to you early. I'm dropping this the day before. I drop every Wednesday. And just for those that follow, that might have been worried, I'm still here. I know it's been like a month. You said, yo, Mike, where you been? You couldn't drop us no best of episode. Look, one man band. That's who I am. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's just facts. If you want to kick in, if you want to do some of this, some of this production shit, then feel free to holler. Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com. You can get me directly. Hit me up on any of the socials. Slide into the Dizza Dizza DMs and say, yo, I want to help you with this because I like your bald head. Right? But who's got the time? We all got busy lives these days. We too, we, we're too fucking busy. We're too busy. Gone are the days of lounging. Do you know people with a lounge? Like they might lounge for like a minute, for a second, a couple hours. But everybody's hyped up, hype up on, on caffeine, hype, 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 hype. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going nowhere. I may take some lapses, some breaks because I'm too busy. And I, and, I, and I, it sounds weird because I feel obligated. No, well, not obligated. I'm not responsible. I just, I love you. I just feel like I need to give you an app. But I just, there's only one me. But I'm here, I'm back. Anyway, how are you doing? You know, I always want to know off the rip, off the top. How are you doing? You doing all right? You doing all right? I'm summer treating you. Yo, y'all know. Yo, hey, I'm from New York City, born and raised, ain't lived there in decades, but always going to be a New Yorker right here in the heart, in the heart. You know what I'm saying? Hasn't, haven't visited my city in a minute, but I talk to my people, keep in communication with my people up there. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, they send me a box of beef patties or something. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you want to send me a box of beef patties? Hook me up. They don't have them down here. The Tower Isle joint. I'm not plugging nobody. But them Tower Isle Jamaican beef pack. Mwah, sell them in all the pizza shops. Oh, and while you at it, send me a bag of the Wise Onion Garden Potato Chips because I can't get them joints down here neither. Just hit me up, Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com or slide to the DMs and say, yo, what's your address? And I will gladly give it. I just need to put it out there publicly, right? No. No. I might get a P.O. box or something. But, hey, yo. Whew, the wise onion garlics. Bam. And I don't know if you know about that. Some people like sour cream and onion. But but the, uh, the uh, mm, onion and garlic, ah, oh, they're so good. Anyway, <clears throat> I digress, as I always do. You know I do. I digress. That's what I do. But it's all connected. It's all connected. So, um... 
What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, um, I hope you're doing good this summer because Hurricane Burl, Burl, I think that's how they're saying it, Burl. Like, who named that? Burl? Burl? Is Burl a name? Burl. Burl. Hurricane Burl is fucking shit up in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. How you say it? Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean queen. So Caribbean. Uh, I don't know if that validates the word from Billy O singing that. Um, but this is a unprecedented record setting uh, hurricane. So much so that it is um, never been a hurricane this strong this early. Usually it's like August. Global warming? Global warming. Say it ain't real if you want to. Hey, I look, something has changed. Like, for instance, back in my day, and y'all know, y'all, I shave because, you know, I don't, in the summer, I just shave. I would shave my eyebrows off if I could. I mean, I could, but then I'd look even weirder. But, hey, yo, the pigeons used to run and move out the way. Now they like, yo, you better step around. You know? And the same things. Now, growing up in New York City, we have four full seasons. Down here in the dirty south in Texas, they got hot and hotter. And kind of hot. It's all hotness. I don't know the winter's been crazy down here, though. But the weather's changing is my point. Shit is changing. We only get a like a glimpse of time. And the more... You know, ancient archaeology is getting discovered. This earth and people been on it for like millions of years. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we don't know what's been going on on this planet. There's speculation how it forms. I know some of these scientists and geologists, all they just know they got it figured out. They don't know. It's all speculative. It's all speculation. But in my lifespan, and hopefully I'm only about halfway there because I'm going to get to like a hundred and some change. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <clears throat> Still feeling strong, vital. Hey, oh, but if something's changed, it has changed. The seasons have changed. Shit is changing. Now, what I hope does not happen, because I got kids, I got grandkids, what I hope doesn't happen is like the poles shift and the whole wipes the whole surface of the earth clean. Supposedly, it's happened before, maybe even more than once. We little humans on this spinning rock, floating in space in a spinning Solar system inside a spinning galaxy, supposedly in an ever expanding universe. So, hey, I don't know. I just, I know I look up at the sky and wonder. I wonder. But shit is changing. And this heat, fuck with it if you want to. Fuck with this heat if you want to. You'll find yourself laid out or on a permanent nap. Hydrate. I don't go nowhere without my bottle of water, my glass bottle of water that I reuse. I don't rock with that plastic shit. Stop buying those plastic bottles. Get you a filter joint in the glass. Get a, I, like get a half a dozen of them joints or something. You know, care about the planet. And you say, oh my. What does this got to do with the Fourth of July and Independence Day? Nothing, but it does because it's all connected. Yo, keep a snack, some fruit. Yo, I, look, just don't play with this heat. Because, you know, a lot of people, you know, everybody say, yo, we outside, we outside. No, I'm not. I'm, no, no, not in the summertime. Not, in, not unless it's before 10 a.m. or after 9 p.m. 
maybe after 10 p.m. From 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., I'm indoors somewhere with some air conditioning. Because, no, a hundred in the shade, no thank you. Now, me being the mannish man, dog, whatever you want to call me, lover of the ladies, that is the only benefit of summer for me. Fuck the bugs, the sweat, the heat. <clears throat> but the ladies wearing less clothing. Mwah. I love y'all. All ages. And you can say what the fuck you want. Okay? I love all the ladies. I admire them. I don't care what you say. They do it in Hollywood. The old man gets the young lady. But, you know, only the narrow-minded think, you know, age really matters in anything. In anything. Because age does not determine attractiveness or who's attracted to who or compatibility. You say, yo, Mike, you're just a pervert. You're just, you're just like the young girls. I ain't no pervert. But, yo, I like women like I like my fruit. Right. <laughs> So, yo, look, today, in the spirit of the 4th of July, otherwise known as Independence Day, I come to you with an insight that only me, Mike of the Mike's Opinion Podcast, can give you. You know why I'm the only one that can give you it? Because I'm the only Mike of the Mike's Opinion Podcast. That's why. That's why. So, you ever just really envision or visualize some shit? Like what it would be like to live in the late 1700s. Now, you know, Thomas Jefferson and all of these, these dudes, yo, if you've seen the gear that they was rocking, they was rocking the, like the, the knee high knickers with the floaty pants and the, the curls, the like the perm, the jackets, like the suede out. Yo, they was pimping back in those days. Check out the gear. And for fun, I dare you, I dare you to rock one of those, those outfits from the late 1700s and go outside, go to the store and just and act like, like they're weird. Why are you not rocking this? Why are you not rocking the 1776 gear? <laughs> I dare you. Send me a video. MikeSpringShowGmail.com. Slide into the DMs. You know, I'm all over the place. You know, of course, X slash Twitter. People, everybody still call it Twitter. Um, IG, Facebook. I'm 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 kind of on TikTok, but not really. I know I need to be there, right? Hook me up. Put me on TikTok. Say, yo, Mike, this is how you do it. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I know how to do it, but like again, I'm a one man band. But hey, yo, when you think about those times, you got to understand what it was like before Independence Day, before the 4th of July, 1776, here in America, like it was a young country like the 13 colonies you know and the british was still it we was it was an extension of britain it was like yo we own this shit this is our shit okay y'all can go over there and chill but when we come through when we pull up this our shit so we send our soldiers over there they need a place to stay you better open your door you better feed them that porridge. You better let them lay down by the fire. You know what I'm saying? And oh, by the way, all that, that tea, all this other stuff y'all consuming, we taxing that. You're going to have to send us some coin every time that you deal with that. We're going to need a coin for the book. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Of course, now that's the UK, right? And we cool. Kumbaya, pie five, fist bump, all of that, right? Boom. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. And the crew over here in the early young Americas was like, hold up, yo. Yeah. 
Hmm. They across the pond. Right? I mean, they get over here with the boats because they want no airplanes, of course. Take them ships bouncing back and forth. But yo, we don't want to rock with them no more. And the British was like, what? What'd you say? Oh, really? Let me load up this bayonet and go fuck with these niggas because what? This is British rule, the king and the queen. We started this shit. We sent some people over. This is our shit. And we was like, yo, 13 colonies was like, look, we're on a different vibe over here now. You know what I'm saying? We're on a different vibe. I don't know. That's my best British. I don't think that's British, but whatever. We're on a different vibe now, and we want to call this the Americas and eventually the United States of America. So, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna write some shit down. We're going to declare some shit. We are going to declare our independence. This is a declaration of our independence. And we, we the best minds we got right now. And we came together. And we agree that we ain't fucking with y'all. We are our own shit. And basically, that's what the 4th of July is about. That's what we did. And it was a fight. People lost their lives. People were hostile. But ultimately, victorious. We came out, and that's why we are now the United States of America. K -K 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 oh, what? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a black man, so like I ain't really all that proud of that. I'm just saying this is the history. This is the history of it. But do I like, woo, America, do I rock with that shit like that? No. I just happened to be, I was born here. This is why I'm here. If I had billionaire baller money, I probably would still be here. I probably have me a little island over there, a little spot over there in that country, maybe a little spot over there in that country. You know, but there's a reason why a lot of the billionaires, people that could bounce, don't. They stay right here. Hmm? Yeah. There's a reason why. Now, they got their spots. They might have their emergency joints, and I'm speculating. I don't know. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. I know one billionaire personally. And I can, I, hold on. Actually, let me rephrase that. I don't know him. I have met him. I have spoken with a billionaire here. He owns a very popular football team. I'm not dropping no names. I don't know how that works. You said my name on your little podcast, and I don't want you to just beep that. So I don't have to beep. If I don't say it, I don't have to beep it, right? So, hell. But even, I mean, all of them, they stay right here. They travel, probably. And I'm pretty sure they all got the doomsday bunker with the emergency scenario plan and effect. If some shit pop off, boom, hop in the chopper, doo -doo 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 -doo, get into the mountain and the secret shit that we got and all of that. And I will have all of that once I hit billionaire status. And you say, oh, Mike, you going to hit billionaire status? Yes, I'm going to hit billionaire status. Are you a millionaire status? No, I'm not. Are you a hundred thousand? Are you a th hundreds of thousands of dollars status? No, 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 I'm not. So this is why I need you to support the show. Like, share, comment, follow, subscribe, and donate. Do you donate to any podcast? I'm a, I'm insulted if you don't donate to this one because this is the brokest of podcasts. Why are you giving money to the podcast that already got money? Now, I'm not on Patreon. Maybe you feel safer with Patreon. Maybe you feel safer and you don't feel as safe hitting me up on Venmo or Cash App or PayPal, but you should because they all legitimate. And I want to grow this show. I also look for talented people that don't mind for free just helping the show out. Like a producer. Like the, the slick video editing shit. You know, the audio shit. The earlier shit that I said helped me, you know, help me grow the show. If you ain't doing nothing, you got to spare a couple of hours a week or something. I'm here. I'm consistent. I'm going to be here. And you say, yo, Mike, you just left us for a month. 
four years, yo. Check back. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. I like doing this shit. So, um, <clears throat> you think you could have been one of those people to go against the British Empire? And don't get it twisted. Back, yo, Britain was that shit. They had all the shit. The guns, the armies, the people, the fighters, the gold. So, did you think, but yo, we, we over here. We want to do our own shit. Yeah, but the British is coming. If we say some shit, guess what? They're going to send the British, and we're going to be like, the British is coming. You think you could have rocked with that? Do you have your own personal independence? I <laughs> have gone. I'm off the grid. Well, no, I'm on the grid. I Me, mean, I'm still living in society, in a neighborhood. But I left the workforce. I left the herd decades ago. A lot comes with that. You're on your own. And um, you rely on yourself to live and generate revenue. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. <clears throat> and I'm still figuring that shit out. But the type of independence I'm talking about, you know, there's this system, right, in this in this America that 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 you know seceded from Britain and became its own country and enslaved people and still kind of enslaves people and, and, and we built this bureaucratic um, capitalist society, doggy dog, get rich however you can, blah, 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 right? And we, we fell into the trap, right? You got to buy a house, you get this mortgage, you get a car and you go to college, you get a job, so so let me start the order you go to school you graduate high school do the best you can get into the best college you can you make some money right and then you buy a house and a car and some credit cards and those are your major like expenses you buy appliances and other shit right but then guess what you're trapped you can't stop that job you can't stop working if you want to maintain the lifestyle that you created. You don't want to foreclose on a house. You don't want to get your car repossessed. You don't want to get your, your um, credit card, you know, cancel. So what do you do? And then, excuse me, if you add a spouse and children, then you even further in that trap. And some people live in that matrix happily. They're plugged in and they know what it is. And then some of us have unplugged and we underground and we eat and slop. And that's our reality in hopes to get into Zion because Zion is worth it. What's your Zion? Hmm? Making enough money. I think anywhere in this country, if you generate $100,000 on your from yourself, you can live comfortable enough if you're just not greedy, greedy. Like you could have a crib and a car, you can make them payments, and you can you can be good. Maybe take you know some vacations here and there. You could be good, but um, I don't know. If you know, tell me because I'm still I'm not generating that much a month. I'd like to be consistently right. Be nice. Yo, you got that that new um that new Bitcoin or not Bitcoin, but that new uh, what do they call it um Bitcoin and Ether crypto that that new crypto insight that's gonna blow yo them Reddit people yo what's the next GameStop move huh I don't have a lot of change I got a little change I got a couple maybe a hundred dollars I could throw in this shit can you turn a hundred into a thousand a hundred into ten thousand then I can take that ten thousand. Take five off the tap because I need to do what I need to do. And then put that 5,000 back and get it to under five and 50. If you know how, share it with me, please. And I don't need those scammers 
why is scamming like the hot thing with some age groups or some people? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to scammers, bullshitters. I'm talking about the real deal action proven because I ain't got no money to lose. I ain't got no money to give away. But it would be nice to come up to a higher tax bracket. So, but y'all, do you think you could have been one of those, those, those people that formulated the plan to go up against the empire, the British empire? I think I could have. I know I could have if I thought it was the best thing um, to do. Now, I have, you know, I have a very limited knowledge of the specifics. Like, what was it about Britain that they was like, we don't want to rock with them no more? Um, I probably used to know it, but I just, I just the memory best. Only so much RAM and memory and storage capacity in here. So some shit just is fleeting and it flies away. So I'm pretty sure maybe they had some legitimate reasons why we ain't fucking with Britain no more. We want out. We want this to be America, America, but um, it got done. So in celebration, we grill out the hot dogs, the burgers, the ribs. Maybe if you're getting exotic with it, some fish, some shrimp, skewers or something. Maybe do you roast your corn on the grill too? What else you put on the grill? Let me know. Mike's Payne Show, gmail.com. <clears throat> or hit me up on any of the socials. Hey, yo, I just, I'm not a fan of grilled corn. Personally, I like my boiled, slathered in butter, a little salt and pepper. Mm, wow, delicious. <clears throat> but, so, and then we get into all the patriotic music and we gather and we pop Chinese fireworks. Because I don't think, I don't know any fireworks that's manufactured here in the United States. If you know of American manufactured firework, please let me know. Please hit me up. I would, I, I love to know that, but I don't think there's any American made fireworks. But anyway, uh, we give China thousands and thousands, hundreds and thousands, maybe even millions of dollars, you know, for fireworks because they are imported. I don't know if they're Japanese. I believe they are Chinese because Look around your house and count how many things say made in China. Yeah, I mean, I'm not hating. It is what it is. They buy stuff from us. We buy stuff from them. Um, but, you know, that is what we do to celebrate. Everything's closed. The banks, the post office, all the stuff. It is a national holiday where we celebrate our independence. And as a black man in the United States... I mean, I rock with it. I rock with it that um, the activist, I think she's an author now, Latrice, Kimberly, Latrice, I can't remember her name. But, um, you know, I remember the video that when she went viral, what made her blow up. She said, you know, America should be very thankful and happy that black people, you know, don't want revenge. We just want to be accepted and be able to rock with the country. And, you know, some reparations would be nice. A nice, big, giant apology billboards all across the country that could stay up for a few years. Like, yo, my brothers, yo, I'm sorry what we did to you and your ancestors. And a lot of people say, they didn't do nothing to you. You was born and blah, blah, blah. It's, yeah, we still suffer. As a black man, I can tell you, I still feel all of the ramifications. Am I picking cotton and getting tied to a tree and whipped and hang on? No. No, I'm not. But it's still real out here for a person in this skin. He said, yo, Mike, you light skin. So what? I'm still black. We need to kill that black people. Oh, we come in all kinds of shades. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what that is. But, hey, yo. So I'm not really like, you know, shout out to Colin Kaepernick because, you know, I mean, he started out, you know, kneeling against police 
police brutality that ain't worked since. But if you kneel or sit during the national anthem, or if you even play the black national anthem, it's a lot of people that get angry, that take it personally. We don't mean nothing against people that fought for this country, but what about our experience? What about us? You're just so worried about your feelings. How about having some empathy, some compassion, some understanding for someone other than yourself? This patriotism, you know where I'm from? I'm from the Milky Way. That's where I'm from. That's what I'm claiming. I'm not claiming no local earth shit. I'm not even claiming this solar system. I'm claiming the Milky Way. Expand your shit. That's all I'm saying. America! And I'm not anti-American. Don't get it twisted. It's not what I'm saying. But these borders, these dividers, these are just another thing. This is my territory. You stay over there. Don't cross this line. This is my border. It's just another reason to, 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 to divide us. Why we can't just be Earth links? You know where you're from? Earth, Earth. Oh, the Western Hemisphere. Huh? I don't know. Kumbaya. To you. Uh, um. This country celebrates its independence. I hope you have some snacks, some good food. I hope you're in good company. I hope you you enjoy some outstanding fireworks because they just keep getting better and better. I know these drone shows are bananas. They, you know, are all inspiring and fireworks still are impressive to me. I mean, you know, they are, they, I, I'm still in touch with the, with the, with the youthful me. So the kid within me, um, enjoys fireworks immensely. And, um, as, as much as I'd like to say, I'm a vegan and I don't eat them. I still like me a good hot dog off the grill, yo. Big hot nice with the nice bun, you know, like a quality bun. And I miss them red onions, them red onions from the cart on in, in the street in New York. I've made them a few times. It's a little bit labor intensive, but I might do that actually. This, I mean, the initial work to get it in there, but then once it's simmering. You could get that smell, them onions on the hot dog. Ah, oh, with the spicy mustard or the brown mustard, yo. What? Yo, I'm, th I'm thinking, I'm, I'm doing it. I just made the decision. I'm making the New York Street onions. I know. I got the recipe somewhere. I hadn't done it in a while. But that is what I have for you today. Happy Independence Day to you. I hope you have your independence celebrate your personal independence and i hope we can all come together in peace this holiday it ain't no problems it's no problems no trauma nothing i hope it's a peaceful quiet enjoyable fourth of july as always i hope you're doing okay i hope you're doing better than okay i hope you're well um Hit me up with some suggestions for the show. What you want to see me rock with? What you want to see me talk about, dive into, and give you the mic's opinion about? Um, again, support the show. Like, share, comment, follow, subscribe. That don't cost you a dime. It costs you a couple seconds. Tap, tap, swipe, boom, boom, done. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. It means a lot. Like, share the show. Friends, throw it up on your timeline. Put it in your story. Follow. Hit that follow button wherever it's at. Wherever you listen at. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Become a subscriber, please. I'm asking you to do that. It helps a lot. And close mouths don't get fed. If you would like a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. If you are rich or 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 doing well. $100, $500, something would be great. Help me grow this show. This show is free for you to consume, but it is not free to make. It's not. 
It costs me money to make this. You say, oh my God, ain't nobody forcing you to do that. I know. Hopefully you get something out of this. I am a positive human being on planet Earth trying to bring joy and positive vibe. Feel the positivity. Feel the positivity. Okay? I don't have anything against it, but I'm not talking gossip and fluff and who said what, who was wearing what, what they said to who, what, the drama, who did who to what. I'm not doing that. I try to do things of substance and bring joy and make your brain have more useful information. That's why I'm here. That's what I do. I hope you like it. Huh? Thank you so much for tuning in, for listening and watching. I'm Mike. This is the Mike's Opinion Podcast. I'll see you next week. I'm going to be here next week. Next week. I'll see you next week. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening to Mike's Opinion. Logic Unleashed. Unleashed.